<laughs> we fire a single shot of a spell. I mean, I don't think Wheel of Time does either. That's a technically an FPS. No sound. Uh oh. The sound now, yay! <laughs> you can actually hear things. The sound, oh, there was no sound. How long didn't we have sound for it? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Right, I guess we can reintroduce ourselves. Uh, I'm Jarko. And I'm Proto. And we are Bioshock Infinite Speedrunners. Right now, we're doing the second DLC, Burial at Sea, Episode 2. What the heck? I went up a bicycle I've never climbed up before. <laughs> you don't hear that every day. So, the basic story of this DLC is you play as Elizabeth, who has just killed, or has gotten killed, Booker DeWitt, aka Comstock. And so now, this is the aftermath. We start in Paris because this loves Paris, so why not? Mm -hmm. But as right. you're about to see, it's not all tranquil. <laughs> Proto started late giving me a head start, probably. I think the load screen was just longer than mine. Yeah. It's kind of unpredictable to set that up, so... I was hoping to get my new hard drive in before, but it hasn't arrived today. Thanks, Average, for the good luck. I didn't do anything. If we're lucky today, you guys will get to see a world record. Probably see a real world record. It's a good chance that neither of us get world record, though, because we're garbage. Yeah, especially since I got world record during practice earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you got world record earlier today. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, it's technically an unofficial world record because... You haven't verified haven't it yourself. It yet, but... <laughs> but hopefully one of us will get a better record during this marathon. It's definitely possible considering I just found a 40, what, maybe 40 second skip. How long is that audio with Duchong? Maybe... Um, I think it's about half a minute. 30 seconds then? Yeah. Hmm. We found two then... skips in the last 24 hours for this game. Yeah. <laughs> Will there be minor time saves? Actually, this run has like very few minor time saves. It's all pretty big skips. Almost every skip in this game saves over a minute. I don't know about minor time saves. So one of the more recent major skips that we found was yesterday. I was doing practice and I played around in one area of Columbia <laughs> I and I found skip. that you could just crouch and pass through the wall. You can literally walk through a wall. You can walk through a wall that I spent yes. hours trying to super jump over, and rule one of a marathon, don't mention world record. What was that you said about Darn. I can get you back to Rapture. And how you plan on doing that, sister? You some kind of magician? Su Chong. What? Tell him Su Chong. Su Chong. And how do you know that slant-eyed wonder? You're his lab assistant. I'm his lab assistant. If it escaped your notice, Andrew Ryan sunk So this is Atlas. He's not a very nice guy. We don't like Atlas. He has a cool accent though. Him and his buddies. Yeah. And if you haven't been paying attention to what's been happening, that Paris wasn't real. That was just her imagination because she was not knocked out. Mm. And now we're back in Rapture and Atlas is here. And he wants us to... Do a little favor for him. And over there, there's Booker, but that Booker isn't real. He's also part of her imagination. Because Elizabeth is delusional. Could I go beat that proto guy? Unfortunately, I probably won't. Well, you never know. I'm pretty bad at the, the elevator skip, so... Yeah. Oh. Well, you could. There's a good chance that both of us miss that and then go overestimate it. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, we won't go overestimate with that. No, no. I don't think, because we've got three one minute of time save later. Mm -hmm. So we should get that back. Anyway, now we've got to leave the toy department. But we're not just going to walk to the exit like a normal person. Spoilers. He's rooting for prototype beta. Wow. Yeah. So the the winner of this race will probably be decided by who gets the skip. <laughs> so it's a very difficult jump. Are you kidding me? I hate this mushroom. I lost a pinky. I got it third try. And Holy moly! I got a super jump. I almost didn't land on the railing. You're already there. Holy moly! Yep. Ah. Wait, did you just go up the big mushroom? I didn't do that strat. I I I done my strat, which is just using the big mushroom rather than going up on. Yeah, so you just did the big mushroom. Yeah. Yeah. Darn. <laughs> Problem is, is that that is actually three seconds over my previous time. So it's still slower than world record for now. Mm -hmm. The unfortunate part about my PB was it was actually a really good run that's completely devoid because of the fact that new skips are a thing. I mean, that's what I did to you for a month <laughs> on several occasions. The reason why we're desynced is because of loading times and because I'm slightly ahead. So actually, in the run that I did earlier, I managed to get it so that the Lutessus here just didn't say anything. We just sat there in silence. I've had that before. I don't know what causes that. There's also... I think an... it has something to do with how quickly you manage to get the toy department skip. Hmm. I know that after this cutscene, there's audio that Elizabeth says to Booker that that can cutscene skip. I can just warp to the end of that conversation, you can immediately go to the elevator. So apparently my stream is dead. Uh oh. My, my stream on this end is perfectly fine though. So it's probably an issue with Mixer. That's unfortunate. The boat is in the water, yeah. Uh, because of config settings, water goes into the boat. Not sure exactly what it is. It's like, isn't it with one of the shadows or depth of field? Um, I think it's basically all depth of field for most of the effects. It's so odd. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, turning depth of field off gives you a, a lot more FPS. So it must do quite a lot of additional things. Odd effects, yeah. And things to mask things that shouldn't exist, like the water being in the boat. Anyway, the moment of truth. Time to attempt the skip. Okay. Don't clip through. An accident. Okay, I managed to get it. You did? Wow. Congrats. I'm going for it here in about five seconds. I managed to figure out a better setup for it. Like instead of turning around and jumping, I turn around and then jump. I don't turn around at all. I find that doesn't. It slows you down a bit. Hmm. Oh, I missed it! Oh. Uh, I don't like it. Well, at least you get to show the older version. Yep, actually, it's a cooler skip, is not getting it. <laughs> but. Darn. I was really close, though. You guys will get to see the cool basketball court jump. Actually, really odd, and we're not exactly sure. Do you know how it works? I have no idea what causes it. You get flung into the air by getting stuck into a rolled up tube kind of thing. Similar to a super jump, except way more fun. Oh, 
Okay, I'll just reach the elevator. And apparently the auto splitter is messed up because it split in the same place they did here. Oh. Which is very odd. Well, he's not getting up anytime soon. And what with his head all attached to his body. From here on, it's only gonna get worse. It's good to know that I messed up. Alright, there's the basketball court launch thing for you. It's kind of odd, just throws you into the air. Also, you guys got to see a, the only viable super jump used in any Bioshock run. Very useful one. Uh, I just got a first try also. It's still very inconsistent. Uh, it's a lot more consistent than some skips. True, true. But then super jumps are never going to be consistent. No. Feels bad. <laughs> Once I could see everything, every possible moment. Which would you rather have? A consistent HRH first try or consistent super jumps? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to say HRH. Yeah. Main game is just. It's more interesting because. Well, I mean, if there were consistent HRHs, we could. There's a lot of places where they would be useful that I've never pulled it off purely because they're not consistent. Like parade, you could skip that. There's a spot there where you can get stuck on that invisible wall and throw yourself over. Just yeah, not consistent. Yeah, H R H at the beginning, then it would be amazing. Oh yeah, if you had H R H early on, that'd be pretty cool too. I think you'd be able to skip crow fight even. Okay, I'm gonna take the shotgun just so I don't lose those few extra seconds. Well, seems like central heating came from this room, so it would stand to reason that the ductwork should go to Suchong's. Wait a minute. You're gonna take the. Oh, are you? You're at Suchong device. I am. Yes. Yes. Okay. I thought I should probably pick up the shotgun just in case. Just in case you do need to shoot some fires. Or fire some shots? Mm, yes, but technically we already fire one shot in the form of an yep. projector. Yeah. But then just in case we need a couple more shots. Is there any opportunity we even have to? Like is there Sorry. anyone that ever gets in our way? Um, in the Manta Ray Lounge, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, There's you could there. On the way there. So I mean you can shoot two guys on the way down when you're jumping down. I'll pick up the shotgun also. Where is it? It's under the... Yeah, there it is. Okay, so the auto splitter split in the right place this time. So, apparently I, I set it up to count cutscenes, and then when you restart checkpoint, it clears those cutscenes. Alright. So that was what the issue was. Okay. Use the Lutest particle if, if it can make a city float. It can make a prison. Bows crossed. I can't open tears, but I can use this device to go to Columbia and find a particle. But it's been vandalized. You'll fix it. Sure. You know, my tower didn't come stocked with the Lutest device repair manual. You will fix it. Yeah, I'll just... Elizabeth, you will fix it. Okay. Okay, there must be some information around. Sodium, titanium. Why would these be on schematics? But it's code. A visionaire cipher. If if we assume hydrogen is A, and the iron with twenty six element is C. Out of hand. Never underestimate the fallible maniac. Looks like a punch list for things Su Chong needs to fix the machine. All right, time for a skip we actually used twice in the run. It's the same skip. Carbon dioxide scrubber. Hopefully I get it. It's a difficult jump to make. It's actually a really cool skip though. We can look for a CO2 scrubber in the bathosphere choke. A lot of models should have one. A heat sink. I just about managed to get it after losing all that time. Are we gonna find Keep your cool with old man winter. That'll work. I definitely need more practice with that. 
because I've found that if you leave the door to close a bit more and then just walk into it, you can then jump before it. Yeah. Alright, I got it. Gets it. Into my place. Yeah, I get it. I think I'm only good at it because of how many times. Wait, did I get? Ah, oh, I didn't get it. I didn't get that atlas. I thought I did it fast enough, but it was close. It was really close. There's a skip that I found there. If you get this audio to activate with Suchong, uh, Atlas audio from back there will activate first. Or act activate afterwards, interrupting Suchong, uh, skipping this entire part, and we can immediately input the keypad. I think I'm only good at it because of how many times... Oh, your stream's back. Wait, did I get... Oh, I didn't get it. I didn't get that, Alice. I thought I did it fast enough, but... Time for entering numbers. One, two, one, six. Remember your numbers, Frodo. <laughs> Alright, so now we're on like what? Don't forget seven five one three. <laughs> I have it written down in this post-it note, so we're good. Yeah. Atlas sent me here for some old man winter. You haven't been around here long, have you? What makes you say that? Because <laughs> you're the only one of us who don't smell like the red pile house at the zoo. Right, hey, that's one shot fired. So I thought we were lacking in the shots department. What? What? Why did this? I don't know why the played that shouldn't when you look straight down, but. It would appear that you need. Practice. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> so right now we're on like a return items quest and we gotta get this cathode tube, uh, old man winter, and finally we get a scrubber from this a CO2 scrubber, that's what it is, yeah. If you don't remove the carbon dioxide from the air supply in the submersible. And there's a possible skip that could be done here, but it hasn't been figured out quite yet. Before, I've seen everything. But there is that mind the time save which skips a cutscene, no. which you can get if you're not Jaffa. <laughs> well, I go for the old man winter in the. Or I go, I get the item from the. What's it called? Scavenge for cathode ray tube, whatever. Uh oh. Uh -huh. I seem to be dropping frames. Hopefully that will not last long. Okay, we're good. Tears, no omniscience or whatever you the, want to call the start it. I figured out was that if you if you get wait until the the maintenance bay to get the cathode tube it's actually a lot easier to, to get I almost feel like that would be faster RTA exiting that elevator it's maybe like three or four seconds I don't know nah restarting checkpoint takes actually longer than that but Alright, so we got 7, 13, 12, 6. Okay, we got it. This is gonna be noisy. Now, I never noticed it, but when you press the button in the elevator to go back up from Maintenance Bay, the button actually changes place. Really? What? Mm -hmm. And I forgot that if you get the thing before dialogue finishes, the elevator opens quicker. Alright, so we're both going to go for this cutscene skip, right? Or this uh, opening of the elevator when you return. Mm -hmm. I've done it, done it on the way too as well because it's slightly faster. Alright, well, I, I didn't realize when to do it <laughs> when I returned, because I wasn't paying attention, so I missed that. Right, time to turn in the quest. And now we get to do some dimension hopping. 
Yep, some fun stuff up ahead. Apparently that was a gold as well. Is pacifist percent any fun to watch? Uh, my current world record on speedrun.com technically is, I think. You know, I don't think I kill anyone yet. I don't think I pick up a gun ever. Yeah, I don't. In in this run now, we don't need to pick up a gun at all. No. You could run this on 1999 mode because we don't use any death warps in episode two. Either. Well, there is the full damage that we need to worry about, and enemies in the way, so. When do we take fall damage? Oh, elevator. Wait. Um, going at OOB and coming back in inbounds. Oh, when you drop down, yeah. You do go across a lot of health kits across the run, though. You can't ghost. I don't think you could do ghost. You, you actually in 1999 mode or 1998. You have to do stealth. Oh. So I believe somewhere it said that if you get detected, then it's game over. Oh. Anyway, remember the new skip? Yep. Getting ready for that. And remember which door I told you to reload check on that? Oh, yeah, that's right. To get movement speed. Mm -hmm. It's the great big doors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So coming up is the ridiculously easy skip that saves a minute. It's so infuriating how easy this skip was and... Yeah. I mean, it's not something that I'm ready to look for. I don't go up to walls and crouch through them and expect just to walk right through them. Well, the thing is, I, I was trying to figure out a super jump, and that's how I found that. And that was a spot where you tried to get wedged and you just went through the wall instead? Basically, yeah. <laughs> So here we go. Easy peasy. I'm surprised how much I caught up. Jarcos, as I them. <laughs> Stupid jerk. So SJs or super jumps are uh, something that everyone that runs BSI hates, and there's something that I've been... Wow, I actually messed up that skip. Uh, there we go. I'm actually kind of caught up to you considering I didn't get elevator, but... Well, my loading is slower to begin with, so... Yeah, and also you did uh, things that are slow RTA for the world record that you're about yeah. to get. Anyway, Holy moly, I never reset checkpoint. GG. <laughs> it's alright, I may be like 10% slower right now than normal. So basically, in this part of the game, we need to go and get a hair sample for suit job. And now, we're using this great big clock, which, for some reason, Fink decided it'd be a good idea to install to have different doors unlock at certain times of the day, because Fink loves work. But we just grab the clock key and then spin it all the way around. So right now, we're working. Oh, and the small thing that you might not have noticed is that if you reload checkpoint, it will actually regenerate your ammo. Really? So now we've got plenty more ammo to, to shoot. So if we need to up the quota... Wait, restarting checkpoint actually gives you more ammo? Yep. <laughs> what? Is this exclusive to episode 2? No, it's exclusive to BSI. Wow. They yeah, learned. So that was two more shots for the shots quota. Look, are you there? I miss you. <laughs> no, nope, that's the only reason why I run this in French because the start of it just makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Okay, I got good AI RNG in the 
main area. Lucky goose. Because normally there's a guy that's right in your way and you have to jump over the desk to get past him. But he was in a different place like that. Alright, so I'm going to restart checkpoint here so that I get my movement speed back. When he should have done it right before doing the skip. So I knew exactly where I was supposed to do it, I just wasn't paying attention as usual. As usual. I see the estimate as a challenge, so... <laughs> you need to see how far above estimate you can get. Mm -hmm. That's the high score right now, it's 50 minutes. <laughs> So now we get a little bit of backstory on Songbird and Elizabeth's relationship to him in the form of a movie. So get out the popcorn. You can actually, uh, there's an Easter egg. If you look at the film strips, it's actually the same thing uh, playing on the screen. But for some reason, the wheel rotates slower than the, the film goes. So. It's just odd that it does that. Whoever animated it did it oddly. Well, they probably just didn't want to bother animating it at all until someone told them to. And then they just said, I'll just make it spin this speed, it'll be fine. No one will notice. <laughs> Unless you play this game for way too many hours. <laughs> So after we've watched that movie, we need to get what we came for. I guess he was in some sort of fight. I waited there thinking, thinking I, I don't know that something would happen, but, but he just lay there, moaning. I couldn't just. The line with the thorn in its paw. So much for science. So when do we tell them about the funnest part of this run? <laughs> Actually, you're about to get there, aren't you? You're leaving well, Colombia. Just leaving the land. Okay. I'm only maybe like a minute to 30 seconds behind you. Well, that's not too bad considering loading screens. And missing elevator. And missing that. I did that so we'd even out, actually. So that we'd get to experience the fun that is the cutscene together. Of course. Alright, there you go, I killed someone. <laughs> Once we get the hair sample, we need to get out of here and get back to Rapture. Because we've already got the, the blue test particle. Which is what we originally came for, but then Suchong wanted us to get something for him. Mm -hmm. It's a bit like going shopping and then. I'm going shopping in an, another dimension. To get something else. Someone should change the game. Is it still set to Metal Gear Solid? I'm kind of sad I was enjoying your run, Raichu. Do you think that Daisy really <laughs> oh, yeah, Raichu, I have a question. Does, uh, does that game have built in motion blur or something? It looks really odd, especially for a console game. So this lockpick, we really don't need to worry about setting off the alarm because there's no enemies here. Oh yeah, the, you'll get to see that here in a second. Okay, I won't take the skyline then. Expected MGS. <laughs> What a disappointment, for sure, though. Well, th this is the latest Metal Gear. And yet we end up just going down the same Makes sense. So this is the lock. For some reason, part of it isn't on screen, but that's alright. So now we get to do that same skip that we've done before. Here you are. And hopefully get it quicker this time. But we can do... A little bit extra, this one. Oh yeah, you get to do a fun little tidbit at the end of it. Mm -hmm. Something that's pretty unique. <sighs> right, 
there we go, that's the AOB. Very difficult to do quickly, so I've done it the safe way, just in case, because sometimes the, the game can take too long to start loading, and it'll load after you've gone into the area that it would load around you, so you just fall into the void. Okay, another shot, because why not? Alright, yep, and I got the skip first try also, so... Now we are gonna get ready for multiple cutscenes. It's not multiple cutscenes, it's technically... Well, like, when you, enter, when you enter the area, you get quite a few. Like, the elevator and then opening the door takes a couple seconds. True, true. But first, Andrew Ryan needs to have a chat with us. Yeah. We're Isaac Newton, by the way. We're about as smart as him, right? So basically, what Andrew Ryan is talking about is that he knows that Elizabeth is this all-powerful person. Except she isn't now because she's dead. But he doesn't know that, because he can just see her doing all of this, and because of the Lutest device, he thinks she still has those powers to create tests. Is that what this is about? <laughs> and it's basically talking about her wasting her powers by not joining him. So we are Sir Isaac Newton trying to save a, a house cat from a fire. And I believe the house cat is Sally, the little sister. Either that, or it's Atlas and his goons. So it could be either way. So now comes the fun part. Yep. So what do you want to do? Sing, sing some like Bob Darren, some Frank Sinatra songs, or did you get trivia set up? I had planned to get trivia, but I kind of forgot there. in all the practice. <laughs> That's alright, we have 10 minutes to go get trivia. <laughs> so, Just run 10 minutes of adverts, it'll be fine. Yep, that's all you need to do. Here, we'll look up some trivia to share with you dudes. Don't want to make this too fun. So without spoiling this very long cutscene too much, basically what's going to happen now is that we're going to have a, a very interesting ASMR session. Just give me the girl. She means nothing to you. You've got that right. The girl means nothing. But you love. You mean the world. When I played this game for the first time, this this cut scene was really trippy because the, the sound effects going all around and all the visual effects as well is just really crazy. <laughs> no, it definitely is pretty psychological. Like it actually does get to you a bit. Hmm. On low quality, it's not quite as. <laughs> no, on super low any files, you definitely don't get that immersion. Yeah. Oh, the stream's dead again. Ah, oh, darn. That's actually super unfortunate. Hmm. Are you recording the run also though? I'm not, but right now I'm a minute behind eating. Oh, okay. So, it doesn't matter anyway. Don't worry, guys. Stream being ripped right now doesn't really matter too much. <laughs> yeah, I'm going so fast that Mixer can't handle it. Oh, is that what it is? Darn. Yeah. Because I haven't dropped any frames, and my OBS says I've been live for 45 minutes, so it's definitely Mixer. That's once. unfortunate. <laughs> I'm actually super impressed with my internet. Yesterday I dropped maybe only like 100 frames across two hours, and today it's only been 150 minutes, so... In an ideal world, you won't drop any frames at all. Nope. The future, please. I don't know what you're talking about. What was it you said about mentioning world record? I, like I said, it was... 
It wasn't for sure, you know. But it was possible. I mean, I think both of us are still going to beat uh, my record that's currently on SRCOM. Which would technically mean we're faster than the SRCOM record. <laughs> Because the current PB that I haven't uploaded yet is 43 minutes and 14 seconds. Which is a minute and 11 seconds faster than my PB. Mm -hmm. But right now, I'm 1 minute and 12 seconds behind that. So I'm basically on your PB pace. Where did you lose time? Just door skip? Uh, I lost some time on the super jump. And uh -oh. then I lost a bit of time because of the cutscene, so I'm gonna make that up. Mm -hmm. But before that, when I got back to Rapture, I was 14 seconds behind. Yeah, basically what's happening now is that Elizabeth is woken up from being injected with Truth Serum. And now, the siege has happened, so Atlas and his goons have infiltrated the rest of Rapture and have caused havoc across Rapture, including the Cashmere restaurant, which is one of the places that you visit in the first game. Hi Kata, hi Sierra. I simply came to abuse of glitches, I'm not sure what that means. Silly Europeans. From stubbornness, the prefrontal lobe. Now, I think it's fair to say you're a bit of a in Bioshock Infinite during the scene where you first meet Elizabeth, she tears a hole in reality to Paris. There is a theater there showing L.A. La Revanche du Jedi, which translates to The Revenge of the Jedi. This was the original name for Star Wars episode VI, I can't remember Roman numerals. Return of the Jedi, six, six Return of the Jedi. Okay, so in Bow at Sea episode two, you can recover an audio diary belonging to Rosalind Lutess, who is the female Lutess in the main game, and it's titled The Lazarus Project, where she discusses the potential for her and her brother, quote unquote. Because that's Lutas from an alternate dimension. Mm -hmm. Technically, the same person. During the, during the infinite number of paths that mm -hmm. the universe can take. But I don't expect it'll take and more. Like, you drug them with it, and it makes them tell the truth. It's a real thing, apparently. Also... But you, you need to make sure that you administer the correct dosage. Because, <laughs> as the, the doctor said, too much can kill you, and too little won't have an effect. But now, we're, we've just had our eye stabbed with a, a needle in an attempt to break our skull. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. You're a regular hero, ain't you? Can't risk ripping the only part of you that's worth the damn. Well, there's more than one way to. Did something happen for you, Jonathan? Mm, the stream seems to be down on my end, but it seems like chat saw that too. But they're saying it's back. Mm. It just says 2000 network error, so I can't see the stream right now. I can still see chat, and it doesn't say I'm dropping frames. We're still alive. Elizabeth was tearing, <laughs> tearing a hole. It's not how you spell hole in the stream's reality. Oh no.
Also right so here. So this is well, Nathan this Drake. Oh god. He's Don't coming me, to save us. Please. Beg Remember this place. Actually no. What? It's not Nathan Drake, is it? No, it's Booker. <laughs> I know he doesn't voice he doesn't voice Nathan Drake. He voices his brother, doesn't he? Uh, what's his name? I can't remember the man's name right now. Voice actor for Booker. His name is. He's a super popular voice actor. Troy Baker. Thank you. He voices. Does he voice Nathan Drake or his brother? Something like that. He also voices. He voices a lot of different things. Anyway, the reason why Atlas is still here is because this happens before the events of Bioshock 1. So this is like a, a prequel to Bioshock 1. Huh. But now the fake Booker, which is all part of her mind, has helped us find where the ace in the hole is. So we can now save our little sister. And now we're going to have to go and get it for him. Yep, we have to go retrieve the ace in the hole. <laughs> but, in the run, we don't bother with that, we just skip straight to him. And this is one of the bigger skips in this run. Mm -hmm. Also found by Jarko. In the month of September of this year, I found multiple skips uh, throughout the month that skipped a total of about, what, 10 minutes now? It went from, I think, 56 by Sanju to 43 now. So, Proto found the most recent skip, though. And then I, no, actually, I found the most recent skip, the dialogue, but you found the most recent big skip. And it will be. Okay, so I'm about to do something that's completely intended. Because normally you're supposed to go through all this and do various stuff to get the big daddy out of the way, but you can just jump on top of them. Yeah, there's a, you can, as you guys can probably see, there's a floor that you can just walk on uh, out of bounds. It's not an actual wall that, we, we just see it, or the floor. You guys will get to see me also do it here in a second. So there we go, that's how to skip straight to the end of the game, without having to go back and forth. Yep, so now I'll be doing it. Jump on this wheelchair, jump over on these little sisters, jump on here, and there's a wall right here. Jump over here, jump right into here, load into this area, and that's just about the end of the game. Time will be up here when I interact with Atlas. Hey, sister, over here. So in real time, I got... 44 minutes and 5 seconds, but game time it was 43 minutes and 31 seconds, which is 17 seconds off my PB. Alright, in time for me. So, that was Burial at Sea, episode 2. A pretty cool run. I like it. Mm -hmm. But you should have seen it back when I picked it up. It was still an hour long and there were... Hardly any any skips. Yeah. Until Jarko came along and skipped basically everything. <laughs> so ba basically, bless RNG Jarko. Yep. That was right. Uh, I think Mr. Shas is up next again. I can't remember what he's running. But you guys will get to enjoy that. So. Thank you for watching us and. If you want more Bioshock, KPC Zombie will be doing a run of Bioshock 1 later in the marathon. Oh, really? That's cool. Yeah, go watch that for sure. KPC is super good at that game. Thank you guys for watching, though. What is this? It's just a bunch of gibberish.